All right, let's get clear. We came out here six months ago or whenever, six, eight months ago. When was the primaries in Texas? Six months ago? Yeah. Had like millions of views. We just go in the grocery store. We're like 200 feet from where it's at. They're showing me go vote. And it's like, oh my God, what are you doing? The guy didn't care. There were like families taking pictures of me and videotaping. It's if you like show your vote flipping, then they flip out. They go, oh, you Donald Trump people. Because our crew's been out here at this very location. Didn't do that on purpose, but we're kind of here. It's weird. It's just the le- it's the closest super center. And you got to vote in certain spots where your precinct is, or you've got to go to one of the super centers. This is like five miles away, but we got here. And so this is the place where the election official blew up on Owen Schroyer earlier this week, or this last week. And I'm just here. I'm not electioneering. I don't, like, like Texas is already going for Trump. I'm not here trying to get people to vote for Trump. Everybody knows it. They've sued Roger Stone. He won at the Supreme Court. He's doing exit polls. They're totally legal. I bet money if I set her an exit poll 200 yards away or 200 feet away to Texas law, they're going to flip out on me. That's why I'm here. These, these, these people are just not going to stop us. So let's go take care of it. Let's go do it. Here we go. Let's keep rolling. Shane Steiner wanted to go with me and protect me. Shane Steiner, we're live right now. Just here to help. Might I say those are cool sunglasses? They are. I had a really good friend of mine gave me gave me these sunglasses. You believe high school, dude? We've already lived more than half our lives since we were in high school. We we're like, hey, how you doing, sir? Might be, man. I was I was a little RW for you. Yes, sir. God bless you. How you doing? Well, I gotta get by then. I want to get my people to get a tour of your place, man. Sure, sure. Is this your lovely daughter? Oh, All right. Don't do that to me, man. <laughs> Good seeing you, man. Good seeing you, man. Gotta go. All right. God bless. We're doing a live feed. Did you just vote? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm here working the polls for somebody. Oh, cool. Awesome. Susan Narvaez for Congress. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I thought it was a compliment to say this to your daughter. He's like, don't do that to me. <laughs> we're running a lot of listeners here. Look, look at the sign. It's pretty up there. It's all vague, but we're gonna follow it. If they wanna act like jerks, like they already did, that's fine. But the thing is 200 feet, we're here as media man. We're not electioneering, we're here covering the event. Yeah. They're all progressive. Oh, progressive, we wanna hear about this. Yeah, they're excellent candidates. Awesome, how you doing, Alex Jones? Yeah, nice to meet you, Alex nice to meet you. Like progressive, like uh, the big defense contractors that fund Hillary but don't fund Trump one dollar. No, progressive, like they work on boards where they're not determining the budget; they're just determining how to spend it. No, no, it. but I mean, so but I mean come on in here. Hillary, though, is supposedly the liberal god. She has all the corporate money. I don't think that she would be considered the progressive god. Well, no, I hear you. I'm just saying, even Jill Stein of the Green Party says Donald Trump would be more progressive when it's anti-war, getting rid of NAFTA and GATT than Hillary. Mm, maybe. Maybe. I don't. Well, I don't. Well, think then why true. do why do the big mega banks give a hundred to one to Hillary? Because it must on. be the, like the, you don't have an opinion about that already. No, I'm asking you. It's a hundred to one. Why would they do that? I mean, because she's a politician that takes an insane amount of money from banks. So what does it tell you about Trump? They won't. They hate him. That doesn't ha- tell you anything about Trump. It only tells you things about Hillary Clinton. They usually they usually kind of split their bet, like with Romney. The fact that she gets money from that bank doesn't tell you anything about Clint or Trump because she got him most of that money before he was even really involved. No, he's been involved a year and a half. She's got more money than anybody in history, and she wants to launch a war with Russia. And all I'm saying is I was opposed to George Bush, and I was opposed in 2000 when clearly Al Gore had the election stolen, even though I didn't like Al Gore. I have integrity. And the left has right. totally gotten where they just support. I have integrity too, and I need to like go oh, do my I know, job. I know, I'm getting I know, paid I know. to do. I'm paid to do. No, I I'm, I'm getting paid to do this job. So no, sure. I need to we'll do it. Do it. It's good. Now, see, it's all about how they're cool. We have 80 million viewers the last 24 hours, but we're nothing. We're not cool enough to talk to. Them. All right, let's go over here and do this. All right. Now, actually, trying to see, he couldn't debate me. He couldn't debate me. Hillary is the war god. She is everything. So what I want you to do is. Usually you start screaming profanities when you start asking questions. But... You know, we're going to find out probably what that lady's doing in the moment, too. Let me get you a jumper. Get you a one here.
43 year old man. Shane's all in perfect shape. Looks like a badass. I look like Bob's big boy. So, Looking good, buddy. Yeah, right. Anyways, point is, we've done a good work. I like that. I like that jacket too. Thank you, sir. No wonder if you're like, go to close to the office. This is the only super center, right? And it says I can vote it, right? They're always changing. Yes, it said vote a key. I think we. Had I, I had it at my secretary's desk, and she can't find my voter registration card. So, doesn't matter. A lot of states, the same one, whoever wrote, you know. So it's a good deal. Man. Now imagine all these folks are lined up to vote. And we have Bev Harrison, who's nonpartisan, a huge Democrat. Excuse me. Sitting there saying no, I'm here to vote. I'm just as a citizen. No, I know. I know. That's fine. But um, we can't have you recording within but, but, the within But the you bathroom. have cameras inside? No. You don't have cameras inside there? No. And you can't have us recording? Correct. Can you, can you, because this is what I'm here for. Can you quote me the law? Because I've heard people go in here and they flip the vote to Hillary Clinton that, that people aren't even citizens. A citizen isn't supposed to photograph their ballot. Correct. I, I, I can go look up the law that prohibits... Uh, photo photography in the polling place, if you'd like. I'm sure it's in my manual. What system is this? I'm sorry? What system is being used in there? What, is it Heart Inner Civics? I'm, I'm sorry, what? The machines, what company? Oh, the... Heart the, Inner Civics. It's um, the their East Lake machines. I'm not sure the, yeah. the company that operates. Formerly Heart Inner Civics. But the point is, is that is that those take a photo of the ballot. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, and, and there's there's lawsuits filed to make them keep those images. I don't think there's anything about photography going on with the ballots at all. Yeah. I don't believe we, so. we definitely don't want citizens, though, having a copy of their ballot, because then they could reconstruct that later when the... Have you heard of Fractional fractional Magic, Beth Harris? No. She's like the big HBO documentary lady. She's the expert. They found all over the country they're, 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 they've got software okay. on the computers. Okay. And so they, that's going on. Like, like, we have this lady from the Secretary of State. We tried to go and talk to the Secretary of State, and they wouldn't talk to us about... What Can we, we at least move outside the, the, the boundary, um, the polling place boundary while you're recording? Sure. Well, what's the what's the boundary? That, that cone over there? So, yeah. So, we're going to have to go over here. Sure, sure. Well, we're not, we're not here involved with that. We're here involved with our voting. No, I know. I know. We're and not, that's fine. Not, that's fine. In Texas, we're here to to document that there is a major, like, like when a major politician comes and votes, whether it be Hillary Clinton or, or, or uh, Donald Trump, they wander in and they let them videotape them voting. Because the real law says that's media that's simply covering someone voting. It's not electioneering. But then when little people, well, little, it's, it's, when little, little people, but little, little, like me, with 18 million viewers, when little people vote, they come and they just want to investigate, then it's, then it's off limits. So, so explain to me, explain the law. No, 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 because I saw, I saw the governor voting. I saw all these state officials with video cameras inside. It's possible that they have advanced permission. Do you want me to go find uh, my man uh, so I can quote the, the law to you? Oh, oh, oh no, oh, but a law's a law. See, because I'm not electioneering. I'm here to cover the voting process, and I'm not interfering, so I do know the law. See, that's why it's selective, it's discriminatory, it's unconstitutional, it's wrong that we're here talking about, I guess I'm not going to be able to vote. I, I, here in Texas, I'm unable to vote, folks. You, you've seen it on tape. Sir, we've I'm unable. No, 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 no. I need to document. I need to document, just like you do with your machines taking photos, just like they have politicians in their voting. I'm sitting here quietly talking nicely about America and about everything that's happening, and I'm simply trying to vote. And you can see, we're going to show you clips of governors and presidents, everybody walking right in and voting. It's okay. Sir, sir I, don't know, not I don't know their permission, and I don't know, you know. Permission? Laws are permissions. I, I don't know the arrangements they have at all. Am I wearing a Hillary shirt? No, sir. A Trump shirt? No, sir. Am I, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not. I'm not here for any of that. I'm here for the integrity, but it's fine. We've illustrated it. And, and and my whole thing is, I, I get my listeners tell me, and I send us images, screenshots of people unable to vote all over the United States because they want to take a photo of what they did, and then there's not even a law saying that. It's a claim of electioneering if a citizen takes a photo when we're in these things with cameras everywhere and people and politicians voting. So I get it. And, and I've kind of already had my vote in public opinion. It, it, it's only a question of the, the state of Texas. I just wanted to sit here and illustrate that, and and I understand. I, I have to go in there and just tell people of a flip to my vote, like we've been hearing from hundreds of people. So I can't show you that, so I can't take part in a process 
that's like that. Ma'am, I appreciate your help. Sir, I, I'm happy to help you vote. I am. Okay, well, how, how does that work? How does that work? All I'm trying to do is follow the policies that I've been given. Are they laws or are they policies? I, can I go get my manual so I can... Please, show me. Right, Thank right you. Back. I'll stand in line over here. Sure. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Hey, what do you think of all the announcements of votes being flipped and everybody freaking out over it? Hey, how you doing? Yes, sir. Come on here. Let's get a picture with a broken down concrete man. I don't give a damn. How I'm a broke down someday too, brother. Because right. you're broke down. I mean, I ain't broke. I got a blown Achilles. I'm pretty broke down. Yeah, there you go. I have about 20 it's concussions too. Slow you down. I see stars every day, brother. I wake up with them. I'm trying. <laughs> so you don't even have to see the man. All you gotta do is hear the voice. That's it. Right on. This is this is awesome, man. Well, you let us know what happens. They don't want us to photo our votes, but they got <laughs> software right. taking photos. That's, That's how they actually right. read the machine. You got it? Yep. Thanks, sir. You want one, one too? Time. God bless you, brother. Awesome. You want one, sweetheart? You probably don't want me to go here. Here, I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> this I like is my this. day. <laughs> I know my hair is a mess, but yeah. Oh, I'm trying, mind. Honey, I'm trying not to climb on it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you so job, much. I'm going to give everybody's way here. Awesome, Thank huh? you. I'm a great disturbance here. Appreciate it. We got the manual here, which can all be self-interpreted. Let's go do it. You guys go ahead. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Yeah. What a beautiful daughter. She's Thank so you. sweet. Hey, we're going to take a picture, Dick. There's a good girl out there. I got two daughters myself. Smile at the camera. Look at that little angel right there. <laughs> yeah, that's the camera, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. God bless you. All right. Okay. So um, this is regarding cell phones in the polling place. Am I correct? This is a cell phone wireless device. Oh, oh, you're correct. It's a it's a NSA developed system for spy grid. They actually called a personal angel in the classified documents that follows every move you do. Yes. Okay. okay. So this is um, I believe this is section sixty one oh four of the Texas Election Code. And it's use of certain devices. Um, so a person may not use a wireless communication device within 100 feet of a and we're station. Not, and we're not 100 feet? We're just that's about 100 feet right there. Okay. Okay. So this looks like 200 feet over there. But the whole point is we can measure it. The point is, is that we're, so maybe the election code's wrong. We need to take photos of, 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 of how we're voting to be able to document that. Um, we're only doing this to create a national debate. It's nothing to do with you. Okay. That's a cool tattoo. What does that have right there? Woman reading. That's awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, listen, you're a sweetheart. I, I really would like to help oh, you vote. I like this I, one, too. Thank you. This? Brand new. So, I, I'm here. I, I would love to help you vote, and I'm just trying to explain it best I And you're busy. I'll probably get in line and vote, then. Good. I just and, came and, here. and that's what we want. That's what we want. I know we you want, want to help vote. me. You're good. You're good. But look into Beth Harris. She's like a big liberal, big Democrat. She has integrity, though, like Julian Assange of WikiLeaks. You heard of that? Mm -hmm. And it's all in the WikiLeaks, how they're gaming the machines, everything called fraction magic. Okay. That's why they're saying Texas may go Democrat, which I, 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 I'm not Democrat or Republican. It's that that's not true. You know, they've got programs in the central b b booking office that sit there and f calculate the way they want. And so we're here exposing it. It's called Hacking Democracy. It's a big HBO documentary about 10 years ago, but this is the biggest finding she's ever had. She was on the show yes, uh, last week. She's on tomorrow. Infowars.com. And look, you saw the folks, your listeners. Mm -hmm. People are aware. We want voting integrity. Yes, we want absolutely. to be able to cover what's happening and understand it. So, okay. So, for this is regarding media in the polling place. So, yeah, no, show us here. No, I, I see you show that. Well, media in the polling place. So, the secretary. So, explain to me, how, how do I see then governors and politicians in their voting inside? And that I don't know. That I don't know. I, like I said, I don't know their special arrangements with the Secretary of State. However, this does say the Secretary of sure, State. Sure, I, I mean, I don't think they're doing that. I think people go, oh, the governor's here to vote, or oh, Bill Clinton's here to vote. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, the, and they just don't stop because they're obviously not interfering with an election. Right. It's all intent. And we haven't had anyone of that stature come here with their cameras, so that I can't say. No, no, but I mean, but I'm just saying, because I send crews out, and we'll be like way over there in the corner, what are you doing, doing exit polling? Exit polling is, re is represented by the Secretary of, of, of State of the U.S., and it's something that's supposed to be done. So, so all we're doing is 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 here documenting, you know, the main process. How you doing, sir? Was this? Take a picture of it. Sure, let's do it, brother. But I don't want to. Certainly, I don't want to interfere with anything that's going on here. I want everybody to vote. And that's wonderful. And that's sure. good. My buddy just won the Supreme Court yesterday. You know, with 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 with, with exit pollers. Um, you know, they go to the Supreme Court with. You know, because they don't want exit polls. Because boy, they're really showing what's going on. Let me tell you. <laughs> but. Uh, 
God hey, bless you, brother. Good seeing you. Anyways, well, I, I think I'm still going to vote, but I'm going to go Good. take I, a break. Good. I, we, we would and, like and I'm going to go figure out exactly what I'm doing. I know yeah. you're out here to stop me. Yeah. I'm just here, quite frankly, using this as all an illustration of how everything works because, the, you know, the technicalities can go on forever. Like, are there cameras? They're digitally hooked up in that building. That no, violates, of no, course, there are. There's no, no, sir. No surveillance cameras in there? No, not well, that the, I'm aware point of. point is, is that what about the reports all over the country, not just Texas, Colorado, whatever? People take photos of how their vote's being flipped, it's just always magically to Hillary, and then they're bad people. Oh, I don't think anyone's saying that they're bad people, but, you know, like I said, we have just this, this election code that... No, well, that's very interesting. Amy, you are so nice. Thank what, you. I appreciate is, it. Is your Amy, Amy small? That's me. All right. Well, I think you're big. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate so it. So no small is big. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. So we're here, and we have never got more than we're not 100 feet away, so we're still good. We're all good here, and uh, we have we we have done our big report. What what do the viewers think? Let me see. Shane, what do you think? I'm just I'm just keeping an eye on you. You like uh, my sunglasses? Are they saying not sunglasses? They look good. Hey, Amy, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. And like I said, if we can help you out with anything, we do want you to vote. We do just your phone here. number. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. All right, you're awesome. Thank, thank you. you. See you later. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go vote for local public place by the office because it's less less of a big deal. I do want to vote, but I don't want to stand in line. It looks like an hour and, and do this. But this is what I'm illustrating, folks. The law says electioneering. It's all how they describe it. We're not electioneering. We're here to cover the event. That's why press is allowed in. But it's all selectively written all over the country to do this. So Texas is going to go for Trump. They're always saying it's pink. They might go for Hillary because they plan to steal it. And so we're here to cover this. But you've got all these butthurt people mad at America, mad at its prosperity, mad at all the money it's made. Well, go to North Korea. You know, it is so sad to see how they... Christian, they couldn't get white Christians to engage in racism anymore. So the left began to beta test with the minorities. And they've sold a whole race-based com cosmology. Come on in here, brother. Let's do it, brother. And this is very sad. Thank you very much. Thank you, brother. Sir, your spot's safe if you get a chance. Thank you. My spot's, my, my spot's safe. All right. You are free. You are free, my friend. Fly. And I am personally... I'm going to go to the polling place by the office. That's a private matter of mine. And uh, great seeing you by the office. Great job, Steiner. Thank you, buddy. And I mean, what do you make of all this? What I make of all this? Yeah. Uh, wh which part? Just what just happened. Uh, this? Yeah. I mean, I, I can't really see as we're, we're having a, a, a camera or filming is in any way harm the election process. The harm, it comes in with the the switching of the votes and that kind of stuff. I don't know how taking a picture of what you're voting for is going to somehow change anything. It doesn't make sense to me. Absolutely. And, and, I mean, well, because if it did, I mean, if the it whole did. thing is these companies are caught stealing everything. They put the algorithms on. We're breaking it with the top liberal Democrat lady who has total credibility saying they're stealing it from Trump. They've caught the software even in Texas. And we're just here. Everybody's reporting the flips. And people just, they, they don't even get it. They want war with Russia. They want to have their taxes raised. They want to be poor. They want to be annihilated because MSNBC in the paper told them it was racist. You know? And that's why they're losers. You bet, brother. How you doing? And I've, I've turned into the... Nice uh, camera. I'm the, I'm the photographer. <laughs> you are a photographer, Steiner. Steiner is an amazing American. God bless you. I, right. do, I can do a lot of things. All right, let's go on over here by the vehicle. All right, we did not get stopped from voting. But they did have the Secretary of State's office there like writing everything down I said. It'll be on the paper tomorrow. Alex Jones stabbed nine Mexicans and <laughs> pledged allegiance to Hitler on video. They won't, they won't show it. They'll just say I did it, literally. And then it's like, then he ran around like a dog on the ground and vomited. And, you know, he was there trying to stop people. And she's there with her thing. I'm going to make sure you don't try to stop us because they're so scared, folks. They'll retract it, but it'll be on the back page the next, the next day in small print. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I got it. I just caught Hillary. <laughs> that would have hurt. Is that an ant? That's a horse fly, brother. Oh. Fly, my baby. Here, let's send it to Valhalla. You ready? <laughs> got, a, got a close up? <laughs> I'm glad I came. <laughs> you like that? 
We were just talking about coloring a fly around. That was a blue bottle fly. That's what my dad calls them. Those are meat-eating carrion flies. Screw worms, whatever you want to call them. Apples and oranges. Hey, how's your dad doing? I haven't seen him in a while. He's good. We need to come over. Anytime, buddy. Still time, isn't there? You know what's sad? We want the average person to be wealthy and successful and to enjoy America. Well, it's, but, not, but, like, it's not like if you make money, you're holding that money and nobody else can get any. It's like there's... You're creating wealth like a... like a. People always bitch and say cities are too big. But no, they're like coral reefs. You go to the coral reefs because that's where all the lies are. Mm -hmm. People that create businesses create wealth and create stuff. That's what America is. Then they bitch and go, look at all this wealth. What the hell? God damn it, I hate it. And then meanwhile, it's these elites that steal money or tax exempt attacking wealth because they don't want you to have wealth. Like, I don't care if Bill Gates ha makes another billion. Him making money is not taking money from me. That's, you know. Exactly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Infowars.com forward slash show. I'll be back in a few hours at the Infowars Command Center where Roger Stone is right now, the big consummate Trump insider and more. But listen, I haven't looked at it since 11 a.m. Zimmerman did the math. 18 million juices just on, because you have to change it every four hours, on our Facebooks and on our YouTube and our internal streams. We had like 7 million or 8 million on, it was like 7.5 million on our Facebook, one channel. Million on the other. Then we had millions and millions on our YouTube and millions on our own deal and a bunch of other stuff. It was it was 18 million. That is so. I'm gonna keep bragging, but dude, this is crazy. They don't want us to announce this, and they want us to keep feeling small, shame, and not realizing we're already bigger than they are. But just because we're willing to tell the truth, and come out here and grab bottle flies off Shane. Go ahead. No, I mean it's it's. Uh, I know you think you're bragging, but it's it's about time you take a victory lap because if anybody deserves it, it's you. Because I mean, you've been. Uh, the way they've they've treated you and and uh, I'm saying it's it's time it's you've you've persevered through some major stuff. Is all You're I'm a saying. sweetheart. Some guy just I said Gary. You, no, let's, let's say this. I love you too. I want to say something about Gary Johnson. Gary Johnson has dung beetles inside his brain. And Gary Johnson, I've known him for ten years. He came here last year. He could hardly talk. He did all this weird crap. I talked about before it was on the news. The tongue thing and acting like he had a lobotomy or whatever. His VP has endorsed Hillary. He has endorsed Hillary. So some guy just said, Gary Johnson, I'm not being mean to you. Trump and the Libertarians took over the Republican Party. Understand that? The Liberals have taken over the Libertarian Party. It's a joke. They may hand victory to Hillary. And do you understand that Trump was ready to cut taxes completely for people under 40000 a year and was ready to cut taxes by 30% for everybody else? Do you have any goddamn idea what happens in real economics? Kennedy did it. Everybody else did it. Reagan, unfortunately, with Democrats, increased spending three times. So even though revenue doubled, it, it made a debt. Yeah, well, they get you bogged down talking about uh, gay rights and, and, you know, women's health and stuff like that. But economically, if, if you have a job, if you pay taxes, uh, if you're not on the government handout, why you're not voting for Trump is, I mean, I don't understand. I mean, they, they want to switch the conversation over to social stuff. And even like, like hardcore conservatives like me, I mean, that's not, I mean, I don't care if two guys want to get married. Nobody really cares about that. Nobody's going to go out and stop people from. No, but I'll be honest with you. I'm seeing a lot of chicks that look like they're on a mission coming in here. And boy, they're about to put Hillary their queen in. It's all about identification because she's got a vagina. And I'm here to tell you, folks. That, that is the biggest scam in the galaxy. Hillary is a mafia chief who hates you and your family. And you can just see these folks that believe mainstream TV. But here's the good news. Mainstream TV is shrinking, shrinking, shrinking. This is their last gas. That's why they're opening the borders. They're desperate. Give us third world populations that are dumb. Don't have internet. Bring them in. Oh, my God. This is their panic. They're even telling them they can vote. Oh, Obama's on TV going, illegals can vote. We're here converting everybody. I don't care what damn color you are. Like, like that black girl. She was attractive, looked nice. She walked by, she saw us. She was, Trump, she was like, oh, my God. I could see it. Was, oh, oh, geez, one of them racist. Like, we're like, we're in Klan House. Oh. All we want to do is, like, cut our taxes and, like, ever be free. But, see, they don't get that. They don't want to be free. They don't want to be free. They want to be on the plantation, white, black, it doesn't matter, uh, of all these asshole Democrats. All right, listen, I'm out of time. I'm going to go vote over at local precinct. You guys were right. We should have gone there. But uh, Steiner, I think this has been a big victory though overall. What do you think? I think it's I think it's the tide is turning, and uh, people like me are, are starting to get tired of it and 
normally we don't say anything, but we're starting to come out of the shadows. And then uh, Alex just walks off and leaves no, no, me I'm here. I'm checking something. I'm checking something. <laughs> I'm checking something. No, I mean, all I want to see is these people free. I mean, I know I'm right. I mean, you know, I'm not bragging, but the average person doesn't know how to wipe their ass. I know how to start companies and defeat the New World Order and do all this stuff. <clears throat> I'm going to meetings with Congress people and generals and black op commanders, and they're like, listening to me. I'm not bragging. And then I, <laughs> these damn women, I try to warn them, they don't want to hear shit, man. They want to be alone by themselves with the government raping them. They think the hu their husband's the government. And it's a bunch of hardcore corporate guys screwing you, man. I can't stand it. I, I have this, this chivalry, you know, that I want to help people. And then the elite have always told me, they said, Alex, they don't want your help. Just join us. Let's fuck them. <clears throat> but I can't do it. I mean, Shane, you want to speak to that? I'm sure you've had that feeling. Like, like you're a smart guy. I mean, what is it like to deal with these dumbasses? First of all, nobody cares what I have to say. <laughs> yes, they do. No, Shut up. they don't. Quit, quit asking me questions. Nobody cares. Back to Alex. That is a good-looking... Uh, Great Dane, huh? Yeah, his first election. To the puppy? Yeah, he's three months. Well, I hope he voted for Hillary. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. We, yeah. How's your doggy doing? He's We're doing exit polling, man. How are you? I'm Alex Jones. Hi, how are you? How, how does your dog vote? He voted Republican. Good. I mean, he's in the country. He's, he's a citizen. Obama said, did you vote for Trump? Good. Mm -hmm. No, sorry. He Trump. did not vote for Trump. You didn't? No. How did you vote? Pardon me? How did you vote? Uh, yeah, I voted the same as him. <laughs> so you voted Democrat. I well, voted. I voted for Hillary. Well, thank God, man. Yeah. The, she, she, her work in Libya. Well, oh, that was great. And hey, the foundations and everything—that was awesome. Well, he's not voting for Trump. He no, I hear you. That's great, man. I tell you, Hillary's so good. Oh, is your dog named Hillary? No. <laughs> you have a good night. You bet. See, so the civilization is built by men, and then it's overrun by people that can't wipe their noses. <laughs> and this is the great paradox, because there's not some new country for us to run to. Is there, Steiner? No, there's nowhere to go. They sit here in Valhalla, and they piss on it because they hate it, because they didn't build it. How you doing? I just wanted to say hi, man. God bless you, brother. Who is this handsome guy? This is Caden. Hey. You want to say something to these folks out here? Let's do it. Make America great again. Thanks for waking us up, man. God bless you, brother. Take care. Now listen. See, that, that gives me hope. I was about to say, I was about to say, they keep saying, oh, I think that guy was probably Latino. They keep saying Latinos, I, I don't know no Latinos that are actually for, for Hillary. I think the secret weapon is Latinos mm -hmm. because they're the ones that get this is all scam. I'm not just kissing their ass. We were had a bunch of Mexicans, Hispanics, whatever over there when we weren't on camera, loving what we're doing. And I'm not bashing women. It's just these are dumbass women, man. I mean, let's just be honest. They are dumber than sacks of shit. I mean, they're like, Hillary's a war criminal. I don't know. I'm not like her. I'm, uh, you know, it's just like, I want nuclear war. Oh. So, but the great news is people get that what's happening. So the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. Steiner? Well, I mean, when if, if how they've talked women into voting her just because she's a woman, um, with her track record of how she's treated women who've come out against Bill, I mean, they have just completely destroyed their lives. Um, and they're totally alone. They don't have a man. They don't have a family. They keep thinking, if I make the state bigger, if I make the state bigger, I might get a family. The state is now their family. And, and the Romans did this back with slavery. They would go into an area, kill all the men, bring the women in, and say, you're the enforcer over your children or we'll kill them. And it's the same deal. So, listen, if you like black unemployment doubling under Obama, you're going to love what Hillary does. I think this is a pretty successful transmission. Yeah, I think that, you know, people that are tired of what's going on and they keep saying they're tired of the, the establishment, there's nobody that I've ever seen that's more anti-establishment than Donald Trump. I mean, he got in in spite of the GOP. I mean, they tried everywhere in the world to stop him. All the big money, everything and, against him. And, uh, and they're about to vote for somebody in Hillary who's a continuation of what we've been dealing with for the last eight years, and that's not worked out well for anyone. Well, listen, don't listen to him. He's a bad racist. <laughs> we need to not cut taxes and end taxes for under $40,000. That is elitist. Make the rich people under 40000 pay. And raise taxes on everybody else but the elite. How much more can they raise? Because I'm, I'm already at 50%. Me too. Maybe a little more than 50% when you add up home, all, of all of it. 
Dude, you had it all up, brother. It's like 45 federal now. They say it's 44. You had state, local, property tax, all the crap. I'm paying 62%, man. I've done the math. 62%. But that's not your fair share. You need to start paying more somehow. <laughs> and still well, run problem, a business. That's how wealth ends. We'll just roll over and stop producing. And then, like Venezuela, everybody will just burn everything down and wonder why they're poor. There's Eventually, there gets there's a point where they run out of people to take money from. Eventually, there gets a point where I go to Switzerland. <laughs> and all you dumbasses can sit here and go to hell. <laughs> I, mean, I tell you. But I want to take all the patriots with me. All right, Steiner, great job. Let's end this Thank transmission. You, You're going to take Josh back. I'm going to go vote. Josh Owens, what do you think of this? We haven't talked to you yet. Yeah, Good here. job. I'll, I'll get we you We haven't here. talked to Josh Owens. Josh, I just, I, I kind of agree with Steiner. I don't see why it should be an issue with going in and filming your vote. Uh, just because it's a law doesn't mean that it's right. Just because, and you know, whatever, even if it's a law, like Jones said to them, it's, they do it all the time. They film uh, politicians, and they film them voting all the time. And it's okay because I guess what, they're, they come in with some sense of authority and they have some namesake so then they can come and pass everyone in line and then go film everything. But we come in with a phone and then she was trying to get us tied up because, is that a phone? Is that a phone? Do you have a phone? No, it's a camera. We're using it as a camera right now. Yeah, Just she like knew the law. It was, it, was, it was all device. They told her, we can't stop them with a camera. I'll call it a phone, trick them. And I was just like, oh. A wireless device. A wireless device. Yeah, as if we could manipulate, yeah. Exactly. So that's the thing. At some point, people just have to do it. Yeah, yeah it's they say wireless device so we can't jack in with it and fraud. But it's happening at the central committee deal. We're the ones that broke it all. And I just want everybody to have, I, I'm proud of real liberals, though. Because, I mean, I was always against Bush, the stuff he did. Just Obama's 50 times worse. Hillary's 100 times worse. But Bev Harris proved this was going on. And now she says it's worse than ever against Trump. And liberals are like, we don't care. Well, if you think the elites won't screw you over once they're in power, you got nothing coming. I'll be back in a few hours live, infowars.com forward slash show. Here is the revolution right now. Here's the revolution. The big revolution. The big enchilada, the big kahuna. I want 100 million viewers by tomorrow night. We've already had 18 million as of this morning. It's probably 24 million, 25 million. I, I, I don't know what it is right now. But 100 million viewers on our YouTube, our Facebook, these live videos, we're adding them together. Absolutely sends a message of how to destroy the MSMS. So it's up to you. I love you. I don't care what damn color you are. As long as you got red blood, you want freedom. Infowars.com forward slash show. The YouTube feeds, the Facebook feeds, these feeds, we're adding them all up to the calculator. 18 mil plus. It's like 18 mil, 200,000 as of 10.30 this morning for a while there. Who knows what it is now? It's all about a celebration of freedom, a celebration of MSM falling, a celebration of reality, the end of political correctness, openly speaking out. They break up our families. There's all these alone liberals who don't have families. The TV's their family. And they hear if they love Hillary, they're in a family and all this. They're sad. They're mind controlled. Is Trump perfect? No, but at least he's real. <coughs> We're here to expose it all. So, Infowars.com forward slash show. Spread that link. Roger Stone's live. Our crew's in studio right now. Huge stuff's happening. Spread the word. Stay with us. Yes, sir. God bless you. How you doing? Well, I got to get by then. I want to get my people to get a tour of your place, man. Sure, sure. Is this your lovely daughter? All right. You got don't do that to already. me, man. <laughs> Good seeing you, man. Good seeing you, man. Gotta go. All right. God bless. We're doing a live feed. Did you just vote? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm here working the poll for somebody. Oh, cool. Awesome. She's in our vice for Congress. Awesome. Nice to meet you. I thought it was a compliment to say this to your daughter. He's like, don't do that to me. <laughs> We're running a lot of listeners here. Look, look at the sign. It's pretty up there. All right. The law is all vague, but we're going to follow it. If they want to act like jerks, like they already did, that's fine. But the thing is 200 feet. We're here as media, though. We're not electioneering. We're here covering the event. Yeah. All right, let's get clear. We came out here six months ago or whenever, six, eight months ago. When was the primaries in Texas? Six months ago? Yeah. Had like millions of views. We just go in the grocery store. We're like 200 feet from where it's at. They're showing me go vote. And it's like, oh my God, what are you doing? The guy didn't care. There were like families taking pictures of me and videotaping. It's if you like show your vote flipping, then they flip out. They go, oh, you Donald Trump people. Because our crew's been out here at this very location. Didn't do that on purpose, but we're kind of here. It's weird. It's just the, it's the closest super center. And you got to vote in certain spots where your precinct is, or you've got to go to one of the super centers. 
This is like five miles away, but we got here. And so this is the place where the election official blew up on Owen Schroyer earlier this week, or this last week. And I'm just here. I'm not electioneering. I don't, like, like Texas is already going for Trump. I'm not here trying to get people to vote for Trump. Everybody knows it. They've sued Roger Stone. He won at the Supreme Court. He's doing exit polls. They're totally legal. I bet money if I set her an exit poll 200 yards away or 200 feet away in Texas law, they're going to flip out on me. That's why I'm here. These, these, these people are just not going to stop us. So let's go take care of it. Let's go do it. Here we go. Let's keep rolling. Shane Steiner wanted to go with me and protect me. Shane Steiner, we're live right now. Just here to help. Might I say those are cool sunglasses? They are. I had a really good friend of mine gave me these, gave me these sunglasses. You believe high school, dude? We've already lived more than half our lives since we were in high school. We were like, hey. How you doing, sir? It's 100 to 1. Why would they do that? I mean, because she's a politician that takes an insane amount of money from banks. So what does it tell you about Trump? They won't. They hate him. That doesn't tell you anything about Trump. It only tells you things about Hillary Clinton. They usually they usually kind of split their bet, like with Romney. The fact that she gets money from that bank doesn't tell you anything about Clinton or Trump because she got him most of that money before he was even really involved. No, he's been involved a year and a half. She's got more money than anybody in history, and she wants to launch a war with Russia. And all I'm saying is I was opposed to George Bush, and I was opposed in 2000 when clearly Al Gore had the election stolen, even though I didn't like Al Gore. I have integrity. And the left has right. totally gotten where they just support. I have integrity too, and I need to like go oh, do my I know, job. I know, I'm getting I know, paid I know to do. I'm paid to do. No, I I'm, I'm getting paid to do this job. So no, sure. I need to we'll do it. Do it. It's good. Now, see, it's all about how they're cool. We have eighty. Okay. They're all progressive. Oh, progressive. We want to hear about this. Yeah, they're excellent candidates. Awesome. How you doing, Alex Jones? Yeah, nice to meet you, Alex Jones. Nice to meet you. Like progressive, like uh, the big defense contractors that fund Hillary but don't fund Trump one dollar. No, progressive, like they work on boards where they're not determining the budget; they're just determining how to spend no, no, it. No, no, but I mean, so but I mean come on in here. Hillary, though, is supposedly the liberal god. She has all the corporate money. I don't think that she would be considered the progressive god. Well, no, I hear you. I'm just saying, even Jill Stein of the Green Party says Donald Trump would be more progressive when it's anti-war, getting rid of NAFTA and GATT than Hillary. Mm, maybe. Maybe. I don't. Well, I don't. Well, then why do why do the big mega banks give a hundred to one to Hillary? Because it Come must be on. like the, you don't have an opinion about that already. No, I'm asking you. 